Morning. Uh, tell us who you are, Michael, and uh, and where you work. Uh, so Michael Duck is my name. I'm a Dungunny man from the North Coast, and I work as a, a pastor of the MacArthur Indigenous Church in Campbelltown. Brilliant. Uh, I'm Stuart Starr, I'm lead pastor at New Life Anglican Church. Um, mate, we've had a bit to do with each other, yep. and um, we've been having a chat today for what reason? Apart, apart from the fact it's good to catch up. Yeah, just to try and encourage people to be aware of Reconciliation Week, this whole week of it, and um, not just to be aware of it, but actually maybe make some action. So Reconciliation Week is a government thing, and I guess, Michael, we've been talking about the fact that it probably should be a church thing, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah well, you think so, that the government has a national uh, program on it, um, and it's great, yet uh, they don't have much of an idea about it, yet we as God's people, the church, we we are finely tuned to reconciliation because of what Christ did for us on the cross. And um, I, th I do think we should be leading the charge. We should be sharing what true reconciliation is. Wait, uh, 2 Corinthians 5, a passage that we both yep. love, puts that uh, reconciliation agenda front and centre, yeah? Yes. Right between your eyes. It's, um, we're classes, we're new creation, we're, we're ambassadors of reconciliation, and sadly the church is asleep during this week of reconciliation. Yeah. So, uh, mate, you can't fit this idea, reconciliation, what it means to Aboriginal people, what we should be doing as a church. It doesn't really fit neatly into a, a, a minute and a half grab for a, for a church service. So uh, we've had a bit of a chat before. What, what would you recommend people do? I, I just think that um, simply the church should be praying uh, for the Aboriginal people of this land the, you know, some call them the First Nation people. Uh, we're the most broken and disadvantaged people group in this country. Uh, we're not a multicultural group. We're not attached to any of them. We're the first people of this land. And, um, and hence, uh, I believe it's just right to be praying, uh, supporting in any way you can uh, to see God uh, made known to the Aboriginal people. It's really good. Now, mate, we've had a 15-minute conversation, which I guess we want to see this as a bit of a, an entree um, into that conversation. So yes. we're going to have a link um, for that longer conversation uh, that people can basically hear you unpacking a little bit of the scriptural background and a little bit about what we can do practically. Is that right? Yes. So we'd love to see people check that out. I just love churches to give more than 30 seconds of their time on a Sunday and actually, actually do something about reconciliation incorporate as a, a, a prayer item in their church um, as a general thing uh, that people would include in their lives, in their prayer life, in how they, even how they think about Aboriginal people and when they see it on the news they could be praying. Just simple to, to include the minds of Aboriginal people in their life, not just once a year. Brilliant. Well we really hope uh, that you can follow up that conversation that Michael and I have had um, I've been really challenged and encouraged and uh, I hope your church will be too. Uh, so thanks Michael for your time. Uh, bless you.